how to reset or initialize a 1575E conductivity controller. And uh, let's go over the basics first. The uh, arrow key, as you notice, when I press the arrow key, the bottom half of the screen changes. And this is what we call a scrolling menu that lets you see how the controller is set up without actually having to get into the controller and change anything. So if we go up here, we see that the count, the relay conditions, the time, but I haven't changed any of those items. I've only viewed them. The top half of the screen is always the conductivity reading if it's enabled. So why would I initialize the controller? Well, if you're not sure how everything's been set up or if you suspect someone's gotten into it, a, a helpful operator has gotten into it and changed a relay setting or a water meter configuration, and rather than chasing it down, you just want to wipe the controller back to factory original settings uh, so you can input the correct information. This is the procedure on how you would do that. First, you press the clear button. You will scroll down to number seven and hit enter, or you can just press number seven and it'll take you right to it. That's process parameters. The process parameter screen, or the process parameter issue is number one. Number two is initialization. So we'll go down to initialization. Press enter. Now it says whole controller or calibration. In this instance, we're going to do the whole controller. Highlight whole controller, press enter, and it's going to ask you one more time. Do you understand that when you do this, you're wiping it all out, all out. your calibration levels, uh, all your set points, any sort of relay configuration. This takes it back to the bare bones factory default, looking for all information to be re-input, including water meter types, the gallons feed, the whole thing. So if you say yes, the controller will initialize. We get the please wait light, and is initialization complete? Hit clear and you go back to your first warning screen which says you need to program this thing. Okay, So now it's going to read the raw value and now if you'll notice the only thing that was saved was the time and date. All the relays have been disabled, all the water meter counts are reset, the time and date was saved but that's it. Everything else has been reset. Now if, in the, if for example uh, if someone's messed with the calibration and has uh, uh, entered information incorrectly and kind of chased calibration, you may have a, a, a created a situation where you go to calibrate and it never seems to line out anymore. It always seems to be slightly off. Well, to clear out that junk, that junk information, you can initialize the calibration only. And it's the same procedure. You would press clear, go down to system setup, which is item number seven on the menu. All right, press enter go to initializations, press enter, and this time you're going to do calibrations instead of the whole controller. Press the calibration and it says you understand that when you do this you're going to have to recalibrate, which yes you are. Hit yes and at this point it initializes or wipes out all the previous calibration data and goes back to a raw reading. It then allows you to calibrate it accurately. So those are the two procedures and, the two, and a few of the reasons why you would initialize the controller. Thank you.